So the big question is this, how do most agents who struggle to get the information that most successful agents hoard to themselves grow and prosper without this information? That's the big question and this video cast is the answer. Welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I'm your host, Pat Hyben. And now for the review of the day. Okay, got a review for Six Steps to Seven Bigger. Good book. I appreciate the content and the way it was organized and narrated. I listened to the entire book in just a few days. Five stars on overall, five stars on performance, and five stars on story. This is a review of the audible version of Six Steps to Seven Figures, a real estate practitioner's guide to building wealth and creating your destiny. Available where all books are sold. Keep the comments coming, guys. I love them. And remember, I eat feedback for breakfast. So give me a one-star review if you want or a five-star review if you want. I don't care. And the more reviews we get, the better guests we get. So please, subscribe first and then leave us a review or wherever you're listening. All right, Rockstar Nation, we have a great guest today, a uh, former broker, now a real estate coach and a guru, uh, all things real estate. And we're going to get into some nitty gritty details about the challenges that real estate agents face today and uh, what to do about it and uh, what's good and what's bad about uh, today's market. So uh, without further ado, uh, Doc Hank. Hey, Welcome hey, hey, Pat. To Real Estate Rockstar. Hello, thank you very much. A pleasure to be on here. This is a, you got it, it going, man. I mean, most of the, the most influential people in America, not just in real estate in America, are on this show. And what you do to uplift and help uh, and educate uh, America is just incredible, Pat. Well, thanks, uh, and uh, and we're in over a hundred countries now too. So this that's is, uh, awesome. This is, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we don't want to leave out our brothers and sisters. In <laughs> Syria. I mean, this is weird, but I see the stats every week, and yeah, and I, I don't know how someone downloads this in in Thailand or Finland, um, <laughs> or how they even hear about it, but they do. So oh, we're great. starting to get a we're starting to get a really big following in South Africa, which is interesting. Uh, oh. um, so so anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's let's yeah. talk about you. Why don't you tell everybody who you are so they get to know you better? Sure. I've been in real estate for over 20 years and I uh, initially owned a mortgage company and then I owned a real estate company. Had about uh, 400, built it up to about 420 agents. And then uh, I found a new business model and technology and so left there and have been just enjoying that ride. It's the best thing I've ever had for myself and for uh, my agents. And and so we've been having fun with that. I'm also a mental scientist. And so I, my uh, undergraduate is in business from UW, uh, Wisconsin. That's where that accent comes in. And, uh, uh, and then my master's in human behavior, my PhD in mental science. So I help people to think more about what they want. And that way they'll get more of their dreams coming true. Wow. Mental scientist. That's an interesting term. And, yeah. and so you, you owned a brokerage in, in what, what part? Texas, right? Dallas, Texas? Yeah, in Dallas was the headquarters. And then we had a presence of agents in all major markets uh, in, in uh, Texas. Okay. And you sold out <clears throat> that company. You sold to a partner a yeah. few years back and and now right. you now you coach other agents right yeah yeah that i uh coach i share the good news about this new technology and uh in this new business model and then i also though uh coach agents to help them to grow their business and so i have ways to be able to easily and comfortably help people to grow their business and really grow their life and have more of their dreams come true easily and comfortably yeah you know? um, well let's get into that because uh, sure. here's the thing you know you know I have a business philosophy that I took on a long time ago I call it elf easy lucrative and fun and I think that um, part of the challenge with the elf philosophy is uh, it, it's hard to find things that are elf easy lucrative and fun and many times yeah. especially in real estate uh, in the beginning 
uh, I think it could be easy, lucrative, and fun. But uh, as as you start getting sick of clients and as things uh, start going wrong and deals start <laughs> falling through, uh, you lose some of that. And yeah. um, so, what 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 are some ways that um, agents can um, it can, can create an easy, lucrative, and fun business. Yeah, I love Elf, Pat. That's just fantastic. It's a, it's a great one. Elf kind of reminds me of Christmas and all those fun things. And, you know, you bring up just a, a spot-on point on what happens with all of us in life is that. So we came into this world, if you will, and this world has perfect contrasts of what we want and what we don't want. And what we, were, what we really were intended to do was to hit that contrast of what we don't want. So a specific example you mentioned like, oh, I, I, the a deal going south and, you know, or I'm sick and tired of these customers or whatever. Well, the reason why that gets worse and worse over time, as you were saying, hey, initially maybe it was fun and easy and then, you know, I didn't have any elf after a couple of years. And the reason why is because whatever we focus our attention on grows. And so what happened is when we had a deal go south, we went and we thought about it a lot, you know, kept us up in the middle of the night. We uh, Facebooked about it. We uh, talked to other people about it. And whatever you focus your attention on grows. So, which means means cooperative components will come rallying around whatever you're talking about, whatever you're thinking about. And if I'm talking about and thinking about bad deals that go south, I'm going to get more of them. Or if I think about, oh, that client, I can't believe that client treated me that way and it took them so long and they wouldn't make a decision and they weren't nice to me and it wasn't fun to be with them. You continue to think that, and again, this is where all the mental science comes in, the, the head stuff, if you will, that as you think about that, that what happens is that you'll get more of those type of people. So we each have the power to feel good in this moment and to rather on, and so here's the technique on how everybody can use this in order to, your piece, on how everybody can use this uh, a technique in order to help them become more successful. So when I brush up against a deal that I don't like, I simply look at it and I say, that's what I don't want. And then you ask a question, and the question is, what do I want? So it starts birthing. Wow, I want to have uh, easy clients, fun clients. I want my deals to go smoothly. Well, this, have, this, this, yeah. this happens all the time, right, with agents. and, and Sure. Uh, I mean, we all have crappy deals. Um, <laughs> and, and so you sit and you say, what don't I want? And the answer is right. obvious. I don't want this crap that keep happening, but it was, it, it, most of the stuff happens. Well, a lot of it happens be, from outside circumstances. Some may happen because you don't have systems in place to handle it yep. when it does happen. Sure. But talk to me about the birthing process. Like what, or like how do you, you know, yeah. tell me, tell me something we can learn that, you know, uh, with that, when you ask sure. that question, you sure, know. Sure. So let's have all of us now, let's have all your listeners start thinking about what um, it, it's something bad that happened, something it really, it's not bad, it's unwanted, it's it just wanted, yeah. unwanted. And so, what uh, unwanted? And so, let's take a customer so or a prospect. And so, I want each of us to think of that person. Okay, and think about how they were. And so you'll start saying like, you know, they weren't very nice to me. They didn't listen to me. They, uh, they weren't motivated, you know, et cetera. Now, think about, and this is where you ask, ask, so what do I want? And so it really can just be the opposite. So to, to start out easy, it's, wow, I want motivated uh, clients and prospects. I want clients that uh, take my word and really respect me. I want them to make quick decisions. I want it to be easy. I want them to have good credit. I want them to have cash down. That I want this to all be smooth and easy and fun. And that's where we put Elf back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so I wanted Elf, and really we could do uh, use Elf on everything. And so if it's a bad deal went south, that okay, what do I want? I don't want deals to go south. So what do I want? I want deals to go north. I want deals to be Elf, and so I want them uh, to be easy. To so be how do you? How do you? Once you yeah. once you figure it out, and I think yeah. deep down we all know what it is. We just need to write it down. Uh, right. How do you manifest that? Yeah. Okay. So. 
It's all about, uh, and I'm going to share with you what science has agreed on all, all manifestations on three steps that scientists have, have stated that actually occur to manifest whatever you want in your okay. life. Okay, yeah, and, I love this stuff. Let's, okay, let's, great, let's great. write it down, yeah. And, and so you bet. And so first of all, to, to help understand on who's agreed on this, all of science, and when I say that, uh, neuro, uh, neuroscientists have agreed on this, uh, quantum physicists have agreed on this, molecular biologists have agreed on this, all of science that there's three steps to creation and to your manifestation. And it all starts, the first step, with our thought. So they've all agreed it's with our thought. So if I'm thinking about things that I don't want, I'm going to get more of it because that's where it all starts. Now, the second step is my thought then turns into what the scientists call energy and what we call our emotions. So when you have good emotions and you're feeling good about, wow, today's going to be a great day. I'm going to attract more business, more wonderful people, and cli uh, harmonious clients. My life is going to be elf, and I'm an elf. <laughs> and so you just start saying that. And so back to the scientists, your thought creates energy, and then your energy creates what the scientists say, matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. And so that's why thoughts become things, Pat. And so, but to, to, like you were saying, well, how do you manifest that? It's, we have a tendency to maybe say, oh, gee, I really want good clients or I want more money. But then during the day, we're thinking about that bad client. And so our prayer, if you will, is our everyday thought. It's not when we're on our hands and knees and our, our, our hands yeah. folded that it is our everyday thought. And so instead of monitoring your thoughts, though, you can monitor your feelings. And so it's much easier because you kind of go crazy if you try to monitor your thoughts, but just monitor your, your feelings. And if your feelings are good feelings and you feel good, this means that you're looking at it as your soul is, your higher self is, God is, universe, whatever term you want to use. And because of that, you know that you're then on your lighted path. And so for those uh, maybe non-believers right now and say, oh, that's, you know, just voodoo stuff and I can't see it, that uh, just try it. And try it. so it, yeah. the, the three steps are thought. Yep. Number one, energy. Energy. Number second, and then matter, uh -huh. which, is, which is the actual manifestation of it. And I think yeah. that, you know, I think that uh, you're right. I think you, it's, it's very difficult to just consciously have thoughts. But I think what you can do is consciously create habits that create thoughts, i.e. Yes. Uh, journaling, right? If you're journaling, yes. uh, you know, what you're grateful for or what you want, right? Yes. And, and, and then you're consciously writing it down. So, you're, so, so your mind is, is suddenly filled with what you want rather than letting what you don't want slip in. Um, uh, uh, saying affirmations out loud, uh, reading mm -hmm. goals out loud, um, um, uh, recording a goal, recording your goals, which I do, and then listening to them yeah. in, on your Bluetooth in your car from your iPhone recorder, um, you know, every day. All, all these things are forced, conscious uh, ways uh, to step one. Hey, rock stars, are you worried that your next set of leads will be a total waste of time and money? Or maybe that those missed calls and texts are turning potential clients into missed opportunities? You should be because these are two huge problems that will absolutely ruin a real estate business's profitability. Fortunately, Rebus CTO Austin Altman and I have come up with a solution. Rebus Complete. And it's got everything you need to maximize conversion commissions and profitability guys this is the total package when you sign up not only are you getting the best training in the industry every single course we offer you're getting high quality exclusive leads and access to the most advanced follow-up systems on the market i've got austin on the line now to talk about what rebus complete has to offer hey austin why don't you start by telling our listeners about the leads we send our members. Sure. Well, like you said, Pat, these are high quality. 
they're not just people who are passively interested in real estate. They are people who are actively looking to buy and or sell in our members market right now. Also, every single lead we send is 100% exclusive. We aren't sending the same leads out to hundreds or even thousands of agents like most lead distributors. When an agent gets a lead from our program, it's theirs and theirs alone. Wow, and these leads are integrated into our automated follow-up system, right? That's absolutely right. All of our leads are managed by the system's state-of-the-art AI. And what's awesome about that is the fact that it not only makes extremely fast contact with incoming leads, but it can also be configured to book appointments based on agents' availability automatically. It's a foolproof system. No more missed contacts and no more missed opportunities. Wow, that's kind of cool. Actually, it's quite incredible. Uh, guys, like the experts say, it takes speed to lead to succeed. If you're not able to respond to a lead within five minutes, you might as well forget about it. Yeah, it really is the answer to the follow-up problem that causes agents to lose potential business. And it's not just great for the hot leads we're sending to our members. The system also nurtures leads that aren't ready to take action today. It does everything from emails to text to ringless voicemails, even physical postcards. The system makes sure that whenever a lead is ready to buy or sell a home, our members are the agent that they think about first. <laughs> Man, I wish I had that when I was selling real estate. All right, Austin, this is great. Why don't you just tell our listeners how they can get more information on Rebus Complete? Sure. Either they text Rebus, R-E-B-U-S, to 444-999, or they can go directly to hybendigital.com slash Rebus. The page has more information on the program. In fact, it's got a video really going into a little bit of detail about what the program has to offer. And it also includes a form that agents can complete to book a complimentary discovery call. Oh, and if you're interested in becoming a Rebus Complete member, you're going to want to act fast. Before I forget, I wanted to mention that we assign slots on a zip code basis so that we can ensure that leads are exclusive. Unfortunately, that means once a slot for a zip code is full, we're not able to take on any new members in that area. Guys, you don't want to miss out on this. Pause the podcast and go to hybendigital.com slash Rebus. That's hybendigital.com slash R-E-B-U-S or simply text R-E-B-U-S, Rebus, to 444-999. That's Rebus to 444-999. Hey, and if you're enrolled in any Rebus course, don't forget to mention that during your complimentary call, what we're going to do for current customers is waive the entire membership setup fee. This is a game changer, guys, and I guarantee that you're going to regret it if you miss your chance to join. Pause the podcast and go to hybendigital.com slash Rebus or just text the word Rebus, R-E-B-U-S, to 444-999. That's Rebus to 444-999 now. Yes. Right. Yes, right. And and so I actually, what I've done, everything you just mentioned there are excellent techniques. And again, as long as you feel good about it, to do it. Now, what I've created is I've created a joy shop. And in fact, I'd love to give you and your listeners this for free. And it's actually a way to change your thinking. And what the joy shop is, is simply a Word document you can print out. And every morning you wake up and you just read this document and all it is is good feeling thoughts, this joy shop and good feeling thoughts. Yeah, what, what, yep. joy, joy shop, you said? Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, it so, sounds like a, a store that sells sex products. Joy <laughs> shop. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great well i'll tell you why i see i never have workshops and the reason why is work is not a good vibrational word okay oh, it's way down shop. here okay. and so i never use the word work i never use the word busy you know all of those things create the things How about that i growth don't shop. want maybe yeah. growth shop yeah <laughs> Okay. So anyway, so this stock, I'm, I'm sorry, you threw me off with that. I was like, what are you So growth, growth shop or whatever, it's a Joy document shop. Yep. That, 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 
what is this document? Yeah, so this document is Good Feeling Thoughts, and it basically is a couple of pages of Good Feeling Thoughts that will raise your vibration and will raise the way that where your thoughts are coming from to a higher place, your higher self, if you will. And then you write down just three things and literally change your, the way that you think. The first thing is to write down what you desire. And so you start writing down, what do I want? You know, what are the things? And as you do that every day, you'll get clearer and clearer on what you do want. The second thing is to be in a state of appreciation and write down, you can start out writing down your whole life from, gee, I appreciate I was born, if you will. Uh, but as you get going, that it's in the last 24 hours, what do I appreciate? And so here's how we have been trained is we're used to like coming home and telling our significant other or whatever. Um, we say, oh, you know, how was your day? Oh, this happened wrong, that happened wrong. And so we're on the wrong side of the game, if you will, of to, to be able to have that help. We're on the wrong side of it. And uh, then we turn on the TV and we watch the news. And the news has, has looked, searched the world for bad stuff, unwanted things. And if you start getting into a trance and just used to that habit of watching TV, then what you'll do is you'll start believing that this world is a terrible place. And this world is whatever place you make it. And it's all through your thoughts. So write down what you desire, write down what you appreciate in the last 24 hours and start easy and be general. You know, it doesn't have to be a $5 million listing. It can be, hey, I'm happy I woke up. I'm happy my heart is beating. And, and then the third step is to pre-pave my day. And so by pre-paving my day, what that means is, is that I start making my day the way that I want it. And so I call for, so for example, that you say, hey, I smile more today. I laugh more today. The meeting that I'm going to have is going to go very well. I said this morning, oh, this podcast, it's just going to be magical. It's going to be fantastic. That's you could nice. say I give more compliments today or whatever. It's a conscious sure. It's a yeah. conscious decision to to make your day better, like you said, by smiling more, by yeah. by offering yeah. help more, by um, maybe being present more, by taking time to stop and ask ask questions of your staff or your team more. You sure. know, there's all kinds of stuff you could do, right? To yeah. engage more, to to touch more. You know, yeah. whatever whatever it may be. So yeah. you, know, you know, before we got on this, let me shift gears here. Before we got on the call, sure. you had mentioned. Uh, um, you know, something you've been talking about lately, which is a, a, a way to add a hundred grand to your bottom line as a real estate agent sure. uh, in the next 12 months by doing one thing. Let's talk about that. What is okay, it? Yeah. Yeah. So isn't that exciting? Like here is a way now for all of us to be a real estate agents, brokers, to be able to increase our commissions by a hundred thousand, or if you'd like to per year, or if you'd like to build your business. And here's the easy step that first identify a, um, an area you want to farm, okay, a neighborhood, an area that you want to be in, that you want to do business. I recommend you do higher end uh, than where you are. So if you're at $200,000 homes, go farm at $300,000 homes, whatever the case may be. And what you do is you start identifying business owners in that area. And you can just start with the local strip malls that are there, whatever, and go to each business owners and tell them that what you want to do, that you have a, uh, that you do a live Facebook and that uh, you'd like to just talk to those business owners about their business. And so you, you do, you don't need any high technology. You can use your iPhone, whatever, go on Facebook Live and interview the person and the business owner and ask them about their business, what they have. And typically what will happen is they'll even offer some special, some discount or whatever, a free appetizer or whatever, depending on what the business owner does. And what will happen is that people will really be interested in that within your farming area because it's not you being a typical agent and saying, oh, look at, I have this open house. Uh, okay, that this is some interesting things, some value you possibly some you know discounts that I can have and what will happen is you will start growing that audience so I have agents brokers teams that um, have 30,000 people that watch these and their business is over a hundred million 
And so it, it's that. How, how often are they doing them? I mean, would you say, is it the uh, mindset you, of do as many as you can? Yeah, yeah. So what I, what I personally would do is I would take it easy because I'm really into elf like you are. And so we want it to be easy. And so, you know, maybe do it once a week, start wanna, out. Yeah, with, once a week. And you want to yeah. do... I mean, do you want to start out with like new places or, or small places or big yeah. places or what? Yeah. Because, you know, the whole concept is that, you know, when people uh, Google like, um, what do you know about this restaurant or, you know, they Google the name of the store or whatever, your video is going to show up. Right, right. And so, so the answer to that is instead of uh, getting into the details, so basically what we really are here for is to identify our preferences and then to ask for it and ask and you shall receive. So mm. what I would suggest you all do, all of us do, is we just identify, hey, here's the farm market, and then don't have any specific, gee, I'm gonna get the biggest businesses or the biggest CEO or whatever. Instead, ask, hey, I want the best businesses, the businesses that will, will help me to uh, you know, build trust with my prospects in this community that will be of value to the community. And so keep it easy, keep it general. And as you do, uh, the universe will fill everything in with all the goodies that you're looking for to include being more lucrative, building your business, and, uh, and really building your reputation and building who you are. And you become, instead of a salesperson, you become more of an advisor. And that's what I'm teaching also my agents to do is become more of an advisor and have that information that uh, otherwise would be difficult to have and then have those connections. And what also will happen is not only will you attract the community, that you will attract those business owners. And the next time they want to buy or sell their home, you're on the top of their mind. You did them a favor by exposing their business. So they're going to do you a favor and give you it yeah. back. Brokers and team leaders, are you tired of seeing dwindling numbers at your monthly sales meetings? And I don't mean numbers as far as sales, I mean numbers as far as agents attending. Do you struggle with creating new and exciting content that will not only motivate your agents, but deliver actual results to them? Do you want your agents using proven sales techniques that increase their commissions? We've got the answer for you. Rebus University is launching a Lunch and Learn series you can purchase to provide structure and content to your meetings. The series has 12 30-minute trainings taught by me and top producers from around the world and specifically is designed to increase production for your agents. Plus, when you purchase these trainings, you will also receive significant discounts for the go-getters on your team or in your office who want more training and bigger results. So don't delay. Go to hybendigital.com backslash teams. That's hybendigital.com backslash teams or call Katherine Brower today at 843-749-9900. That's 843-749-9900. And get started with your Rebus University Lunch and Learn. Yeah, that's a that, that that's a great concept. I know a lot of agents are doing it, and and, and if you, if someone's not doing it in your area, or even if they are, you want to get out there and get in the, get in front of them and do it. Now, let's yeah. talk about something here. Like, you know, one thing I find fascinating about agents. Um, and in, in some, for some agents listening, this is okay. For others, it's not. Um, and, and that is, uh, it's very difficult to, you know, um, grow your business by uh, big amounts. Like, like uh, it seems like some agents that come on this show have no problem doing it, right? They, they go yeah. from, you know, 20 deals to 40 to 80 to 200, right? Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, you know, and, and I've certainly had plenty of those guys and gals on the show and talk about the struggles and, and how to do that or the right way and how not to do it the wrong yeah, way. Right. Um, yet, I think that the majority of agents, you know, might sell, say, 25 houses one year, the next year they sell 26, the next year they sell 24, the next year they sell 
23 and and, yeah. and and they pretty much spend their career uh very consistent year after year after year and when they write their goals they might write down 40 houses or 50 houses yeah. yet they don't actually do that they end up the same year with the same amount or close to the same amount so what advice do you have dr hank as to you know if if you've struggled if you've gone year after year at the same amount of sales yeah. um how to finally break that cycle and increase it uh, significantly you bet pat and it's another great question because all of us have glass ceilings if you will above us in some areas and it's because of our thoughts on, on where we are and so i have a lot of uh, it, you know it's about this attitude it's about how i think so for example i have a real uh, successful uh, a real estate agent who has built a team in corpus christi in texas and his attitude is on when I close a deal, and so think to yourself on, when you close a deal, what do you think? You know, most agents are thinking like, oh, wow, I have this money, I can spend this money, you know, I don't have to work very hard now because I got this, you know, deal done. And so that's what you don't want because that'll keep that, that ceiling <laughs> above you and that glass ceiling above you. So what this guy does is he actually, this agent actually says to himself, I just lost a client <laughs> and so I need to dig baby and I need to get, you know, another client. And so it is that attitude about, Hey, I want to, you can't just be content. So I have people that I have coached that they, they have a ceiling about 30, $35,000 annual income. I'll coach with them in about two months. They'll make that 30, $35,000. And, uh, and then they just kind of quit. And it's because of that attitude that they have. And so that's why this joy shop is so good for you or, you know, for anybody right now to start writing down, what do you desire? You know, so if you do want, I want to build my business and that all of us have the ability. And one of the things that we get a little caught up in is we take the counsel of, we see an agent that went from 20 to 40 and whatever they did, we think we have to do. But the fact is we all have our own path. And so I'd rather have each of us just think about what do we want, start asking for what we want, and then start expecting, and a key word here, start expecting that it's going to start coming to you. And it can come to you out of the blue where all of a sudden a client, a prospect calls you up, or all of a sudden you think about a neighborhood that you do want to farm and some business owners that are in that neighborhood. But you'll be inspired because we have also been told you got to work, work, work. In other words, you got to do, do, do. And what you end up getting, most people end up getting is do, do, okay, in their life and they're not <laughs> happy. And this is where they get burnt out. And this is where we started our conversation about, hey, you know, mm. that it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. So instead, 99% of everything we create is through our thought. And then it's that 1% of inspired action that takes us to elevate our business, to elevate our life, to have our dreams come true, and to have that elf type of life that we've been talking about. Yeah, fascinating. Well, let's do this. Let's wrap this up, uh, Doc Hank, with, the, with, the, with a flagship question that we ask all the agents that come on here. And I want to ask this of you uh, sure. as well because you do coach agents and you deal with agents inside and out. Yeah. But let's say that um, you were no longer a coach, you were no longer a broker, right? Yeah. And um, you were an agent. And I took you and I put you in a place, an island. Now, yeah. here's the thing. It's not a deserted island. It's an island <laughs> with a lot of people running around, right? Yeah. They're buying and selling stuff. And, uh, right. and I put you and I put, uh, let's yeah. say, uh, uh, several other agents or maybe even several other real estate <laughs> coaches that uh, – that uh, I, I made them agents again, or maybe some of them <laughs> never were agents, which is a lot out there, uh, real estate coaches. Um, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and we made them all real estate agents. And I, I, let's say I took 10 of them and I, I said, okay, you guys got six months. Uh, you got nothing. You got $1,000. You got a cell phone and you got a laptop computer. Yeah. Whoever sells the most amount of houses in the next six months gets a million dollars. 
Mm-hmm. How is Doc Hank going to beat out those other real estate <laughs> coaches who I've now tr- changed into agents? <laughs> it's a great question, Pat. And, you know, I have a very easy answer, and I'll take you through kind of a scenario on this actually happened in my life. And a couple years ago, I was involved. Uh, in fact, I might have even a picture of it. I was involved. I was praying for uh, to, to help my agents to have long-term wealth. And uh, my answer was, I don't know if you could see that, but my answer was, uh, I was in a major car accident. Jesus. And, um, Looks I, like a big hole in the windshield where you're flying. <laughs> yeah, right, crazy. right. And so I was in a coma. And uh, when I awoke, uh, that they basically told me, here I am um, in the hospital. Uh, I'm smiling there because of my good positive attitude and the morphine. <laughs> and, uh, but, like you should be smiling. <laughs> but it slowed me down, and I was actually declared I'm a Vietnam well. veteran. And I'm a Vietnam veteran, and the VA declared me permanently homebound and permanently disabled. I was paralyzed from my uh, waist down. And so I started to just focus on me walking, and I visualized with the universe, if you will, I just started to visualize me walking and, and, and making this. And one day I had a little energy in my right toe. And so remember, whatever we focus our attention on growth. So I had that energy and I started to grow, focus on that. And it went up my leg around my waist down, my other leg. And now you can see, voila, in, in less than two years, I'm walking again. And so in that whole thing, it was an answer to my prayers. It slowed me down. And in answer, to your question, here's what I would do, is I would recruit every one of those agents, brokers, whatever, into eXp real estate, uh, because eXp provides an opportunity to have a leads program, and so I can actually, you know, pick my neighborhood and get leads with KV Core conversion. I can then also, they would be under me, and they would be able to have revenue share. They would be able to have public over-the-counter stock, which is about doubled in the last uh, this year already, it's it's uh, doubled, and um, and so that's what I would do, and I would be given credit on all the homes. So I would sell all the homes on the island at the same time. Everybody would be. So happy. You wouldn't spend any time uh, going uh, knocking on doors trying to sell houses. You would take your thousand dollars, your computer, and try to recruit other agents. Yep, exactly. And try to, in, in essence, try to build a team. Exactly. I'd build a team and I'd have the resources. I wouldn't have to do it. All the training is up on it. So we'd use our, uh, on your phone, you could, you know, pop up on the training over 60 hours a month uh, on the training. So I could train all of them. I could give them stock. I could give them revenue share. And uh, so they would, we would all be happy. And, uh, and then you'd give me that million dollars. <laughs> awesome. well, no, well, no one's given that answer before. So that's, uh, that's definitely digging when they're zagging there. <laughs> Listen, Doc Hank, this has been fun. Um, I'm going to, uh, as you know, everybody that comes on the show brings a free gift. You bet. And uh, what is your free gift? That you're yeah, my free gift is I'm also a best-selling author. And so I want to give uh, a, one of my best books that I just love. And it's Encouragement from Dr. Hank. And uh, this is every day, if you'll just read, it's a page or page and a half of an encouragement uh, encouraging words about a certain topic. And it could be about money, health, relationships, whatever. But I, I'll tell you, I've had um, agents just read the money one for about five weeks. And just a page and a half, but every morning read the money one and just good thoughts about money and money just equals freedom. And uh, they their business has exploded. And it's because of, again, their relationship. And so I want all of us to think about what's your relationship with money, for example, with your business, and start improving that relationship relationship and this book will help you do that and not only increase your business but also increase your relationships your health and have more of your dreams come true so that's my awesome. gift to all good of them one, good one yeah well that's a great uh, <laughs> excited to read that book myself so i'm going to put that on hybendigital.com backslash doc hank d-o-c-h-a-n-k that's hybendigital.com backslash doc hank all of doc's information will be on there as well i will also uh, put it in the agent success toolbox guys which can be found on uh, hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or a real easy way to get it is just text the word toolbox to 444 999 and doc hank's book plus probably 15 other books plus probably another 85 plus tools, items of utility that agents <laughs> use in their business will be in the 
toolbox as well. If you don't have it, uh, text the word toolbox to 444-999. Doc Hank, thanks, buddy. If I'm ever in uh, Dallas, Texas vicinity, I will look you up and uh, we'll get together and break some bread. Hey, that sounds great, Pat. Thanks so much. And I also have another resource uh, would be to go to DocHankWebinar.com and you can learn more about me and see those pictures and about uh, some amazing real estate opportunities for us all. So thank you so much, Pat. And thanks to all of you. And for all of you wishing your dreams come true. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Estate Rockstars. If this free content is giving you a ton of value, I want to ask a small favor in return. I need you to pull out your pointing finger and hit the subscribe button. Yes, hit subscribe, please. The more subscribers that we get on Real Estate Rockstars, the better guests are attracted to the shows. We'll get more guests from the top companies, from the top teams. And even more celebrity guests like Robert Kiyosaki and Barbara Corcoran. Also, if you're not a member of our free Facebook group, go to Real Estate Rockstars Radio right on Facebook and join the conversation. I'm on there myself on FaceTime Lives, and we have a lot of communications and questions about the show, and I'd love to see you there. And it's free. People ask me all the time, where am I on social media? I'm real easy to find. Just type in my name. My IG is I am Pat Hyben. It is blowing up on Instagram, adding tons of subscribers. And I'm on there probably twice a day. So definitely follow me on Instagram as well as everywhere else. Thanks again for listening and keep rocking.